Hey, welcome to Money Love and Life. Today we'll talk about not stocks, not crypto. A different topic from the genre that we follow in our channel. But this is definitely about businesses. So giant businesses which are standing on IT frameworks uh, is susceptible to a vulnerability which is popularly known as log 4 j vulnerability. And the internet is indeed on fire. And the reason is the severity of this vulnerability. Log4j, uh, we can see in services like Steam, popular Apple iCloud, and apps like Minecraft, where Log4j vulnerability affected the Java logging framework. So a quick highlight I'll try to give you. It's widely used logging library. So it has affected mostly the digital systems across the internet. The vulnerability found in the logging library is easy to exploit since the attacker is getting a hold of the affected servers. Minecraft is not the only one. Anything within the entire Java environment is actually under this vulnerability. So on internet, you would find a lot of news, a lot of buzz, but uh, for a technical perspective, you would likely be interested to understand how to figure out whether your application has log4j or not, how to understand what is the version of it. So here I'll show you how to figure out what are the versions. So for example, if you have a server where the application uh, is hosted, you have to first check whether it's a Java framework or some other framework. If it is a Java framework, then you can simply go to the drive where the application or the tool has been hosted and simply look up for, uh, you can search with log4j, with log4j and either it will be log4j just or it will be log4j hyphen space two. So log4j is the primitive and log4j2 is the recent, but there are subversions. So like here we can see for this particular service, uh, this particular uh, jar file is present, log4j, for which the version you can see, I'll just zoom in for you, the version you can see is 2.13. So it is said that, it is identified that anything less than, anything less than 2.14, is under this thread so what would be the possible solution so here <coughs> we would discuss about the solution as well but before that uh, what could be the other scenario the other scenario is your application is not running on a java framework if it is on dot net so uh, then you would see something like log4 net so that's not uh, susceptible to this vulnerability you can relax so yes moving on uh, now, uh, one thing you have to understand is what will be the solution? The solution is simply to upgrade from 2.14 to 2.15, right? Anything less than 2.14 is under this thread. So here, uh, I'm showing you a link. I'll mention this link in the description. This link is nothing but the announcement from Apache where they admitted the vulnerability and they have discussed, uh, they have announced the solution. So I'll just read through because this seems to be the important uh, resolution, the important way to fix the bug. And uh, you can keep screenshots, which will be useful for sure. So basically this Apache log 4 J2, anything less than 2.14.1, uh, uh, JNDR features used in configuration log messages and parameters do not protect against attackers uh, which are controlling LDAP and other JNDR related endpoints, right? So uh, an attacker who gets this control of the log messages or the log message parameters can execute arbitrary code, right? So once they get the access of the log messages they can surely run a code of their own from the ldap servers and when the message lookup substitution is enabled so this only is possible for somebody when message lookup substitution is enabled 
so one two three four if we can just quickly uh, come back uh, what are the things we need to check one whether the framework is java java or not if anything else not to worry if it is java what is the version is the version 2.14 or less if yes uh, chances are the message lookup substitution is enabled if it is enabled then you are surely vulnerable then from log 4j 2.15 this behavior has been disabled this is disabled for 2.15 uh, so previous releases this can this behavior can be mitigated by setting system property to so the chances when when you are in 2.14 uh, or less then it's asked it's advised that you can change the system property from this to uh, this to this right or by removing the JNDI lookup class from the class path example is given so Java this uh, so you can keep this as a screenshot basically it is asking to disable and to upgrade um, this will help in protecting against the remote code execution so the whole idea is you shouldn't give access to the hackers to automatically run a code by default right so with this uh, we'll end the video hope you have understood uh, how to figure out what is the version how to figure out what to do with the vulnerable version that is 2.14 or less and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and this is useful uh, like comment and subscribe stay with us for the next video thank you all